Hey guys, back for another one. This is the uh, P3 kilowatt meter. It's the 4400.01 kilowatt meter. It, that's the old model. Um, I've had this probably, it's got, boy, it's got to be a good 15 years. Um, this served me well over the years. Uh, it works very simple. All you do is you plug something in. Like, say you want to check something around your house, you know, and this will give the ins and outs of the, uh, the item that you're using. So you can start, you see, the voltage from my line is coming in at 120.1 volts. So that, that's nice to know what your source is. Amperage is what you're using. I'll turn it on here so we can see. So this is a 200 watt heater. Just a little dinky thing here. Just to give a load test. So notice the volt drops down to 118.7. I don't even know if you can see this because this doesn't even have a light. This is how old this is, okay? Uh, 118.7. Then you go to amps, it's 1.67. So, you know, it's nice. And then you have watts, 200 watts, right on the button. And then you go here, that's voltage amps. And then you go here, now you got 60 hertz. So you got pure sine wave coming out of your house. And then you got your power factor. Heaters are really, really efficient. So you got 1.00 power factor. So that's cool. And then you have your kilowatt hours. That's how much time or how much power you have used uh, since you've... Uh, Plug this in the wall and and uh, kept track of it and then you have your total time so it's been running eh, about a minute so uh great product i've used it for many years um they do have a new one i don't have it and i went to go buy a new one and uh and here's one of the reasons why so you turn this you unplug this okay you got all your memory still in there everything's good right but here's the problem the second that comes under the wall, you don't have any information anymore. There's no memory, there's no battery, there's not even a light. The new one I think has a light, but I'm not sure. I, I didn't buy it. I went, Like I said, I went to go buy the new one, and I ended up uh, getting something else, which I'll show you in a minute. And uh, th this has served me well. However, guys, it's always time for an upgrade, and if I can save you money, awesome. I want you guys to meet this guy. This is a no-name. There's literally no model number and no name on it. I bought it off Amazon. Uh, this goes up to 125 volts. This goes up to 130 volts. So will I ever use that much? No. Um, max power, 1,800 watts. 1,800 watts, same. Uh, but this has things that this one doesn't have. So but first, plug it in. And now notice how clean the screen is right away. You have a light. That helps. It's a big, big deal because if you can't see this in the dark, you can't write down the numbers, right? Then the other thing is, see that seven point uh, uh, seven hours and three minutes? Uh, I, I, I charged one of my power stations last night with this, and it cost me about 67 cents where I am. And uh, here's your wattage, right? But now watch this. So it's unplugged, right? Now you just lost all your information. Nope, this one's got a battery in it. So that's cool. So the reason this is important, if, if say you were doing a, a test, like I was doing capacity test for a power station yesterday, and if, if, if the uh, power station dies, or if the power gets cut off, or if I don't catch it in time, I lose all my information. What a waste of hours. And sometimes, uh, you know, like an 8 kilowatt system, that's a long time to burn. Even a 1,000 watts, uh, even at 2,000 watts draw, that's, you got to wait four hours for that result. So you can continue right where you left off. And if you want to reset your numbers, you just hold down that little reset right there with like a little pin or a pen or you, you could even use a, a probe from voltmeter. I mean, just stick it in there, hold it down, everything resets. So we'll see how this one works. I like this one a lot better. Just the screen, you know, I'm not getting no younger. So the screen is bigger. Um, the, the, the new kilowatt I saw was, uh, it's bigger than this, but man, th this is nice. Okay. Uh, this was like 25 bucks, right? Many years ago, I think it's still about 28 bucks, something, 25 bucks. Uh, the new one, I think, is like, uh, I think 30. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But here's the crazy thing. You know what I paid for this guy? 10 bucks, 9.99. So, unbelievable. Let's try it out. All right. You got the power, the power surge, of course, and then it's going to idle down. Now, what I like about this one right away, right away, is you have a point watt so 176.2 watts so it's much much better 
And if you use less than that, it'll show 1.68 watts or 1.385 watts. It's really, really down in, in, in the milliwatts. And the, that's cool because, you know, if, if you're a, a, a techie kind of guy or you want to see how much power you're really using down to the, you know, like, well, I don't even know what place that is. Um, you can really go further down than just one watt. And that's nice because it's really good to find vampire devices. Everybody knows I don't like vampire devices. So notice this dropped down to 175.2. Same as what this would have done if I would have let it run long enough. It, you know, they start out at 200 and then they drop down. Um, they rate these at 200, but, you know, they never are, like, like everything. So here's the cool thing, okay? On this screen here, you got your time is how long it's been plugged in uh, before you reset it. This is your active watts that you're drawing on your load. And this is the cost. So we have that screen. Now the next one, kilowatt hours, 5.2 kilo. This is how much I burned filling up a power station last night. 5.2, see, 5.220 kilowatts. Oh, there's, see, 5.221. That's neat. That's neat. This one just had the, a couple a couple places, but th this actually goes three under the, uh, the decimal point. So that's cool. I like that a lot. How many days you ran it for is here. And then the next function, you have the voltage. So it dropped down to 117.9, 117.7. Uh, anytime you pull a load, the voltage always drops because it puts a strain on it. Um, here's your 60 hertz, so your pure sine wave right there. Notice your timer's still there. That's cool. Um, here's your amperage, 1.484. Notice how many that, you know places under that decimal point. That's neat. And underneath that, you got your power factor, 1.00. Um, light bulbs and uh, uh, heaters are, are very efficient as far as what they use. You know, what it goes in comes out. So, nice. Then you have your low. This is the lowest amount that you used since you plugged that thing in. So it's 0.5 watts. Um, probably this little light bulb right here. And then you have also on the next button, you have your high. 1,868. That's obviously what I pulled up doing the power station and not this little guy. If I can get 1,800 watts out of this little guy, I'd be a happy camper. For <laughs> That would be just awesome, awesome. Hey, heat up my whole house with that. Um, the next one is your overload. You can set this, okay? The overload is the max amount of watts that you want to have for an overload. The Pecron uh, that I, I have is a 2,000 watt max, so I set this to 2,000 watt max. I wanted to pair with that. But if I was to go to, uh, say, the 3600 uh, Blue Eddy or EcoFlow or whoever it is, uh, on their power station, I could put that to 3600. Very simple. It's really easy to change. A couple buttons. Um, you're, and down here, you got your cost. So 0 0.13 cents, so 13 cents. And then the next one is back to watts, so 174.4 watts. That point for I like that a lot, like I said. But... Very, very neat item. Now notice, 7.07, .07, so 7 hours and 7 minutes, right? 67 cents. Remember that, remember that. So when I plug everything, and I, and I go, oh, darn, the power went out. Oh, darn, the power came back in. Look at that. You still got it. This is a product I recommend. Um, neither one of them is 100% accurate. Uh, unless you spend you know, more money, you're not going to get 100% or even close to 100%. These are decent for stuff you need around the house. Um, I use them for finding vampire devices. I find them for testing stuff. The, this is cool, but I didn't want to pay 30 bucks. Sorry, Kilowatt. Um, I'm going to put you aside. I'm going to put you in the old drawer over here. We're going to collect some dust. I'm going to get another one of these guys. I mean, this thing costs uh, 10 bucks. And for 10 bucks, guys, you can buy two and a half of these. So you can almost buy three of them for the price of this new one. I love this. I've had it for, it's got to be 15 years now. But for 10 bucks, hands down, you guys win. You get my 10 bucks. All right, I hope you enjoyed the review. I know it's a small item, but it's something I really like. And every time I find something I really like, I'm going to bring it to this uh, channel, and I'm going to tell you about it. Whether you own it or not already, I'm going to tell you again about it. So thanks for letting me uh, ramble on here, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.